السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good afternoon everyone Welcome to this lesson for the third intermediate grade second semester for super goal 6 lesson 3 reading the topic of this lesson is it's a good deal isn't it part number 2 this lesson was prepared by Mr. Abdullah Baldaid and will be presented by me, Hassan Sadiq. So, let's move on. You look just like me. Welcome, Salam. Can you hear me? Alaikum Salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can you hear me? Okay, sounds great. So, how are you this afternoon? Very okay, good. Nice to hear from you. Okay, you look just like me. See the little guys over there? They look like each other, right? They have similar faces. Okay, let's move on. Here are the, the goals. Identifying purpose of reading or for reading. Predicting the main idea. Here is the, the warm-up. What do you know about twins? Salam, do you know the meaning of the word twins? Do you know the meaning of the word twins? Twins? Mm -hmm. Two brothers, two sisters, and maybe a sister and a brother. So two things, two sons, it's okay. Have you ever met any? Have you ever met? Okay, sounds good. And do they look uh, like each other, or uh, there are differences? Exactly the same? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, here are, uh, in our, okay, in our school, sounds good. Okay. Related words. Now, I want you to know this. <coughs> twins are two babies. Okay? So, twins are two. Triplets, three. Quadruplets, four babies. Quintuplets are five babies. Sextuplets, six babies. Septuplets, seven babies. And uh, actually, this is the first time that I know that uh, sometimes the, we could have uh, spitoplets, brother, babies, like seven, carried on the same uh, 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 mother. Okay. What does this title mean? You look just like me. What does it mean? Do you know, Salam? It means that you you have the same look of mine if we have a lot of similarities, for example. Physically, emotionally, and uh, uh, when it comes to interests. C. 
sentences that have the same meaning physical characteristic you look like me we resemble each other we look like each other we look alike all of these four sentences have the same meaning you look just like me to express similarities in habits and personalities you are like me we are like each other we are alike uh, here is the the, the reading uh, paragraph on so we can do it here uh, well, salam are you able to read can you read Okay, sounds great. Let me uh, give you access to the microphone. Good afternoon, Salam. Can you hear me? Okay. I want to read uh, the whole uh, paragraph one, please. Hi, Edi. <coughs> We are going to be in math class together again this semester, aren't we? Sorry, I am not easy. Nice to see you again, Bobby. Sorry, I did. I don't know you. You are Bobby, aren't you? No, I am not. I am Edi. This is the story of an amazing coincidence. Three brothers, three bullets, met for the first time at the age of 19. Good job, good job. And do you know the meaning of the word coincidence? Salam? No. Okay, I will tell you. Uh, for example, you are uh, uh, going to the mall tonight with your family and uh, there uh, uh, you found your cousin. It is a coincidence. You didn't uh, arrange for that. So, it's like in Arabic we say Got it? No. Okay, sounds great. So, go ahead and read uh, number two. Just a moment, let me drag this on the left. Okay. Can you? Bobby Sharfan started an, a new semester at Sullivan Community College in New York. <coughs> The previous semester, AD challenge was a student there. The two teens looked exactly like alike. Another student confused Bobby with Edie, and then he realized realized that the boys were Bobby brothers. That student introduced Bobby to Edie. The two boys found out that they were in fact, in fact twins, more at the same time. The boys were orphans and grew up in two different families. The families didn't know that their Bobby boys had brothers. But even more amazing, amazing was this. After the story was in the newspapers, another boy named, named David Kelman realized that he was their brother too, brother too, also born at the same time. So the toys became tribulates. The toys became tribulates. Sounds great, very good. Okay. Good job. Salam, mashallah, tabarakallah, that was really beautiful. Uh, salam, uh, can you hear me? Type number one if you can. I think there was like uh, a network uh, issue. Uh, salam, mashallah, tabarakallah. Uh, I like the way you read, mashallah, tabarakallah. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> I will read the paragraph three myself. There are, and you are going to do paragraph uh, four if there is another. Yes, you are going to do paragraph four. Okay. There are many touching stories of orphans who meet for the first time as adults. Another well-known story of twins is that of uh, Gavin Goodship and Barbara Harbert. 
two people over here. <clears throat> and uh, uh, they are orphans. Do you know the meaning of the word orphan? Do you know the meaning of the word orphan? An orphan uh, is, is, okay. An orphan is uh, a boy or a girl uh, under age, like children, with no parents, no fathers, no mothers, okay? Like Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, was an orphan after his mother died. Okay, sounds great. So these two orphans met. They met for the first time at the age of 39. When they met, each was wearing a beige dress and a brown jacket. Blue <coughs> was their favorite color. They both liked their coffee cold and black. Well, perhaps that isn't very surprising, is it? But how about these similarities? They both fell down some stairs at the age of 15. And later, they had problems with their ankles. They both used the same recipe book and sometimes cooked the same meal on the same day. And to scientists who studied them, they had similar personalities. They were talkative. Do you know the meaning of the word talkative? Talkative. Someone talks a lot. Okay. And they laughed a lot. Because of this, they were called the Giggle twins. Okay, now I want you to read the last paragraph. Can you? Go ahead. Scientists like to study such cases of twins. Twins. They want to answer the class's question. What's more important, heredity or informant? Studies with twi twins like the Chirley twins seem to make a case for heredity, don't they? The twins grew up, grew up in different environments, but still the twins are very similar in many ways. But are all the simulators just coincidence? What do you think? Salam, uh, I had uh, an, uh, 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 a network issue. Would you please repeat that? Fine. Scientists like to study the case of twins. They want to answer the classic question. What's more important, heredity or environment? Studies with twins like the digitally twins seem to make case for heredity, don't they? The twins grew up in different environments, but still twins, the twins are very similar in main, many ways. But are all the simulators just coincidence? What do you think? Inshallah, tabarakallah, good job, salam, good job. Uh, uh, salam, uh, I will uh, disable your microphone now, but you will still, uh, 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 can use the tools, okay? Thank you so much. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. After reading. Answer about the reading. How did Bobby and Eddie first meet? Eddie and Bobby? Do you know? They met at school? Or when? What happened?
Okay, no problem. Let's go to the next. Uh, okay, I'm waiting for you. Okay, no problem. What about number two? What happened when one brother read the newspaper? Do you remember? Not at all. Okay. How were the Giggle twins similar? Do you remember this? Did they uh, mention anything about the coffee? The colors? The favorite color, I mean? What were they wearing? Okay. So they guys the coffee cold and black. And blue was their favorite color. Okay. Why were they called the Giggle Twins? You know? Okay. Let's check the answers in the next slide. They met when another student introduced them. What happened when one brother read the newspaper? One brother read the news story about Bobby and Eddie and realized that he was their brother too. So like triplet. How were the giggle twins similar? They wore similar clothes, had the same favorite color, and liked coffee the same way, cold and black. They both fell downstairs at 15, and they both used the same recipe book. They were talkative and laughed a lot. Why were they called the Giggle Twins? because they laughed a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Match. Okay, let me grab the tools over here. Okay. okay. Salam, uh, would you please go to the third choice? I don't want the pointer. I need the pen. Can you see the pen? Okay, draw something here. So I, can, I know that you, you have got your pen. Okay, good. Good, 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 good job. Okay. Match the following words in the reading with their definition. Coincidence, confuse, and orphan. A child who has lost his parents. A situation in which two things happen together by chance. Think wrongly that a person is someone else. Okay, this is A, and what about these two? Okay. Yeah, you are right. Yeah, you are right. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Good job. Good job. Oh, here is the benefit when you attend the class alone. You are going to use full features. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Good. Yes, an orphan is a child who has lost his parents. Coincidence is a situation in which two things happen together by chance. Coincidence. Uh, as I told you, when you see your cousin at the, uh, at the mall without arranging that. Confuse uh, is uh, to think wrongly that a person is someone else. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah, good job, Salam. Good job. Yes, you have answered them all right. Match the following words in the reading with their definition. The same thing. These are the rest. Heredity. Triplets. Touching. Uh, 
What do you think? Okay. Mm -hmm. You are right there. What do you think of six and four? Yes, exactly. Touching is having a strong emotional effect and uh, heredity is what you get from your parents. Very good. Very good. MashaAllah. Tabarakallah. Just to double check. F E D. And you have answered all of them correctly. MashaAllah. Good job. Salam. Okay. Actually, Salam. This is uh, the end of uh, this uh, class. Thank you for reading and participating. Uh, that was really good. But before ending the class, uh, I was I was really curious about a vocabulary over here. Okay, just a moment. Yeah, here. In paragraph uh, two, two, two. Let us discuss uh, something for two minutes about Bobby Shafran. Okay. Bobby Shafran started a new semester at Sullivan Community College in New York. The previous semester, do you know the meaning of the word previous? Salam. Previous. This one, you know the meaning. Okay, I will tell you. Uh, for example, now we are having an English class. Okay, our next class, inshallah, will be at uh, nine o'clock tonight. The previous class was yesterday. Previous, no previous. Next, previous, next class will be at 9. The previous class was yesterday. Yes, previous, okay. The previous semester, Eddie Galland was a student there. The two teams looked exactly alike, exactly alike. Another student confused Bobby with Eddie. So like when you go to school and you, you confuse Muhammad with Ali, they look the same. And then he realized that, okay, yes, good job. And uh, he, realized, he realized that the boys were probably brothers. That student introduced Bobby to Eddie, so they didn't know each other. The two boys found out that they were, in fact, uh, 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 twins born at the same time the boys were orphans and grew up in two different families the families didn't know that their baby boys had brothers you know they just adapted them you know adapt the word adapt yetabanna two families adapted the two boys and they didn't know that each one has a brother but even more amazing was this. After the story was in the newspapers, another boy, the third boy, named David Kilman, in another family, realized that he was their brother too, also born at the same time. So the twins became triplets. And do you know the word triplets? As we have mentioned that, three brothers, okay? Three brothers. Good job. Okay, let's go back to our last page over here. Yeah, this is the end of this lesson. Uh, yes, three brothers. Uh, this is the end of this uh, lesson. 
Thank you for reading and participating, Salam. Uh, here are uh, the references, Super Bowl 6. See you at 9, inshallah. Have a good day. Bye-bye.